today on Judge Porter. All rise. It shows here that you are suing the uh, defendant for $40,000 in uh, medical bills plus an additional $25,000 in pain and suffering. Like I said before, my job is to save lives. And so uh, I was uh, perfectly fine crossing over, but instead he brought me back and now I have a $40,000 medical bill. All rise. The Honorable Judge Porter is residing. Court is now in session. Hello, everyone. Please be seated. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. We have case number 8012, Alex Serrano versus Malcolm Hunter. Gentlemen, if you can please stand to the podium. Before we get started, Mr. Serrano, am I pronouncing your last name correctly? Because I don't want to be disrespectful. Yes, Serrano, that's correct. Okay, Serrano. Okay, sir. It shows here that you are suing the uh, defendant for $40,000 in uh, medical bills plus an additional $25,000 in pain and suffering? That's correct, Judge. Okay, you mind telling the court what happened? Yes. So I was involved in a hit and run uh, on my motorcycle. Okay. So I lost consciousness, I believe I flatlined, and then the EMT, Malcolm, showed up on site and decided to perform CPR. Now I do have a DNR tatted on my chest, mm -hmm. which Malcolm, the EMT, completely disregarded. Okay, I'm curious, if you, flat, if you, if you flatlined, how did you know that, that this gentleman is the one that brought you back? How did you know when that? I woke up, I saw his face and- Oh, so you woke up on scene? Yes. Okay. So right. when I woke up, I was still a little wobbly before he took me to the hospital, but I saw his face. I remember his face. Um, <clears throat> even on the, on the paperwork, he was the one who filed the paperwork saying that he resuscitated me. Okay. So I had the DNR in place on my chest for, for the reason that I did not want to be brought back to life if anything was to happen to me. Okay. You have, that, I'm going to make sure I'm hearing this correctly. You have DNR on your chest. Yes. Which Tattooed not, on your chest. Yes, which means do not resuscitate. So Malcolm here which resuscitated me. Which means do me. not resuscitate. Yes, and he resuscitated me without my consent. And that's why we're here. Well, okay. Right. Um, Malcolm, can you, can you tell me, Mr. Hunter, what happened, please, sir? Well, Your Honor, um, as you know, I am a first responder EMT for Mago Park Hospital. And so... Obviously, I got the call that Alex had gone into a devastating car accident, so I didn't think much of it other okay. than to do, do my job. And my job is to save lives, save people. And he was unconscious. Obviously, he did to on his chest that says DNT. Okay. Uh, DNR, I think, I DNR, said DNR, 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 I apologize. So you did see the tattoo? I did DNR. see the tattoo, but okay. I didn't think much of it. My, like I said before, my job is to save lives. And so I... I didn't make anything of the tattoo. For that, all I know, the, the tattoo could have been something for a gang, a, a motorcycle okay. gang. What, 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 what happened as far as the resuscitation part? Did you, did you have to use a defibrillator? Did you, you do CPR? Yeah, no, no. To... I mean, I did CPR. You used, actually used the defibrillator and CPR, um, mm -hmm. and he became conscious. But, I mean, that's, that's my job. That's a part of what I do. Mr. Mr. Serrano, how big is this tattoo? It runs across my old chest. Uh, is it like this big? It's about Small? this big. Okay, all right. Um, and it just says DNR. Yes, yeah, in capital letters. Capital letters, DNR. Yes. And you said that you didn't know what DNR meant. No, sir. Jeff, let me ask you a question. You used to be a police officer. If you see DNR tattooed on a person, what do you assume that's going to be? Could be gang. Could be anything. Uh, initially, I believe DNRs leave like a actual paper to be presented, some type of evidence. Mr. Serrano, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I'm still affiliated with the Mango Park Police Department. I still work as a police officer with that department. And if I saw DNR, I would not know what DNR is. You have three people in this room who would not know what DNR is. DNR could be anything. It could be the initials of your children. It could be the initials of your wife or girlfriend. It could be your parents. It could be anything. It does not, it does, there's nothing that uh, stipulates that it means do not resuscitate. 
Even if you had do not resuscitate written on your chest on a tattoo, that still does not grant the authority of this gentleman um, reneging on his responsibility as an EMT. If you want to do not resuscitate to be um, honored, you have to go to court for that. There has to be a court order. There has to be a form that says that here, <clears throat> if something happens to this gentleman medically, and in your case where you were unconscious, um, and flatlining, here's the order, do not resuscitate. That has to be given by the court. It can't be given by your local tattoo artist. Yeah, but the process just takes too long. And the reason I needed to put it on my chest was because I just recently bought the motorcycle. And I did say if anything was happening to me and I had to cross over to the other side, then let that happen. I, so who, who gives him the right to bring me back from that? Uh, I was a perfectly fine crossing over, but instead he brought me back and now I have a $40,000 medical bill. I need I physical therapy. That, sir. I, I can't I, even work my job. So basically he brought me back to a life where it's a lot more difficult I understand this, sir, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I need you to understand this. He did his job responsibly. Thank you. I don't want you to, I don't want you to get that construed. He did his job responsibly. He did what he was supposed to do. He did what he was sworn to do, okay? You want to hold him accountable because you didn't want to go through the process of getting a do not resuscitate order. That's not his fault. If you really wanted that order, if you really wanted that, you would have made the effort to get the courts to grant that to you. Now, I don't know what type of lifestyle you live where you think that, hey, something may happen to me. Let me get this order just in case. You're a young man. I don't know why you feel that you're going to be in a position at such a young age that you need that order. And I understand that you said that, hey, I have a motorcycle. Something may happen to me. Something may happen to you walking across the street. Okay, walking your doggy. That may happen, but no one gets a DNR for that. Okay, now I'm not trying to tell you you need to be more hopeful, more happy. I'm not going to say that. I'm not you. I don't know what's going on in your personal life. But you can't put your lack of effort to get that notice on this gentleman who is doing his job responsibly. Like I said, getting a DNR, do not resuscitate tattoo on your body does not fly in this courtroom. It won't fly in any courtroom in the United States. So your request for him to pay your medical bills, the $40,000 in medical bills and the $25,000 in pain and suffering, we're gonna dismiss that. Now, you mentioned something earlier. You can't pay half, at least. No, no, sir, that part is over. It's dismissed. But you did say something earlier that just um, caused me some concern. It was a hit and run accident. Okay, at this moment, you do not know who's responsible for that. No, the police is still investigating. And, and, and I as feel I've justice told you, has not been served. Sir, as so I've told you, I still, here, feel like sir, still sir, been sir, sir, please, as I've told you earlier, I'm still affiliated with the Mango Park Police Department. Okay, I'm a captive within the Mango Park Police Department. I will get in contact with the investigators of our traffic division to find out where this case is going. They're very good, okay? They're very good at finding stuff. I can't guarantee that they will find the person who caused your accident. I would never guarantee that, but they will work hard to find that person. And once that person is found, I can guarantee you then that that person will pay for your medical bills, your pain and suffering, and they will go to jail for what they've done to me. I am sorry what happened to you, sir, but make no mistake about it. This gentleman is not responsible for any of that. Thank you, Your Honor. This case is dismissed, gentlemen. Because I ain't no Bill Gates. <laughs> man, you can't pay your ass at least. No. I saved your life, man. It's ridiculous. I ain't want it to be saved. I do not agree with the judge's decision because now, since I've been brought back to life, now I'm drowning in death. The judge also is saying that he's going to help you know, probably with the investigation to catch the perpetrators, but nothing has been done. All the, all the uh, Mango Police Department officers, all they do is just eat donuts and don't bring in any suspects. So yes, I'm mad. I think the $40,000 and the $25,000 that I needed for my physical therapy was definitely necessary and justice was not served today. I'm actually very happy with how the verdict went today. Obviously, I was just doing my job. I'm a first responder EMT. I shouldn't owe anybody money for saving lives. I'm not Bill Gates. So I'm very happy with how things went and I'm ready to go about my day and continuing to save lives.